Paul V. Subasich. I'm a licensed Florida attorney. Uh, I've been working in immigration law for the past 12 years. Uh, for about the past four, I've been exclusively doing immigration and nationality law. The test, though, for whether a marriage is valid or not is whether the couple planned to stay together at the time they got married. Not what happened afterwards, because as we know, half of the marriages last forever, right? Um, if, the, if they married for the right reasons, then there should be no problems. But there are reasons that even with a valid marriage, a, a petition could be denied. Maybe if you sell file, you file on the wrong application form. They're going to turn it, they're going to reject it. Um, send in the wrong fee, it'll be rejected for that. Sometimes people send it to the wrong USCIS mailing address. And that would be another reason why it would be objected. Uh, rejected. It's very important that all the answers to the questions are truthful and complete because any omissions or improper answers could have uh, harsh consequences in the future because they're going to they could come back uh, to haunt you. Um, if an application is made and they send a, a request for evidence, an RFE, it's best to answer that because if you fail to answer one of those things, I mean, that first of all, that's going to uh, stop your application. Your application will be denied. And then any future applications, that will come up and that will need to be explained. And those documents that they requested initially will need to be shown. Finally, there's an interview where the two spouses have to meet with an immigration service officer and that officer's job is to decide whether the marriage is genuine or bona fide, as we say, or it's a sham, a fraudulent marriage. So what we need to do is we need to show that the marriage is bona fide. We're going to need a lot of documents to support that assertion from both spouses. We're going to need documents to file at the time of the application and then uh, documents to present at the interview that have been gathered since the application. When we're being interviewed by the officer, we may be together, we may be separated. So we need to make sure that the answers we give to the officer are uh, consistent. You know, if there's if there's variation between the answers that the two spouses give, that's going to arouse suspicion. Um, don't leave anything out. Like I said, answer completely. Don't tell any little white lies. Because any untruth, again, can come back to uh, haunt you and there could be very negative uh, consequences of concealing the truth about something that the government wants to know. Another reason uh, that denial could be possible is because of lack of financial security. Um, the, the immigration service needs to be assured that an immigrant will not become a public charge. So they're gonna to need to file an affidavit of support. Um, and if the spouse or parent is not, um, doesn't have the financial resources to adequately support the individual, then a joint sponsor is possible. Um, but you need to be aware that if, if someone, if the petitioner or the applicant has received or they've applied for benefits in the past, those could now be an issue with the application and that, that could make uh, someone ineligible for adjustment of status.
So again, um, if somebody's been off unlawfully present, or if they've been ordered removed, you know, it's almost impossible to uh, adjust status and become a lawful permanent resident. Economic reasons, there are health reasons too. That's why we have to do the medical exam. If there's any communicable disease, a physical or mental disorder, uh, drug abuse or addiction of some type can all be reasons for denial. And then, of course, there's reasons uh, for a criminal record, okay? If someone has a conviction for a crime, or if they've admitted to committing a crime, it's just like being convicted, okay? So there are two crimes in particular we have to be especially careful of. The first is crimes involving moral turpitude. Basically, that means dishonesty. So anything having to do with stealing, theft, fraud, those could be crimes involving moral turpitude. Uh, the other kind is drug offenses. So with those, we have to be very careful. Um, there are some exceptions and there are some waivers available, but generally, those are gonna be problems. And without remediation by a competent uh, immigration attorney, they could very well be reasons for denial of your application. Um, finally, uh, the United States does not allow polygamy, multiple marriages. So it's important that if and when you file for adjustment of status through your spouse, that both of you, if you've been previously married, that you are divorced and the divorce is final. Because if it's not, and you get to that interview, of course you'll be denied, and then it'll be a big hole that you have to climb up out of to 